a request? Wonderful. Oh my, you've already fulfilled the request. Koku doesn't so, then I will show it. We should take a break for now. You have gotten much better at this. Tsubarashi! Wonderful! I have to get better too! I am glad to have such a great Tomodachi as my rival! By the way, 
I have a question for you. I would like to make something Japanese, but what? A kimono! Yes! It has to be a kimono! But, uh, kimonos are very hard to make. I don't really know where to start. And the material is not exactly affordable. Hmm. I have to think about it. But I appreciate the advice. You are the only one I can talk to here in this country. As long as I have you, I will be okay. Daijoubu. must make my way home now. See you later. Welcome back. on the leaves here. I think I've seen something like this in a book at the library. It might be a common disease in vegetables and flowers. What do we do? What if the plants die? Oh, right. If we take care of it now, it might not be a problem. From what I can tell, it doesn't look too serious yet. Um, what did the book say? Just need to cut off the white parts and <gasps> that's right vinegar it's said to put some diluted vinegar on the affected areas i'll go get some from downstairs <sighs> i think that's about everything we can do we picked up the fallen leaves and the air circulation is good now too everything should be fine now all that's left is to trust they can recover Thank you for today. I wouldn't have been able to save the plans if you hadn't been here. I'm still a little worried, but please let me help out again sometime.
too fragrant. Roses aren't really my thing. Maybe... Kerberos? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm redecorating my room and was thinking of getting some flowers to go with it. I think I'll go with the Gerberas. What color do you think I should get? <laughs> you think so? I like pink too. I guess... We have the same taste, huh? Then it's decided. I'll get these. Hmm. Come to think of it, Gerberas by themselves might be a little plain. What other flowers do you think would look nice? Oh, wait, you've never seen my room, have you? <laughs> well, then why am I even asking you? the truth. To be honest, any flowers would be fine if they were from you. Just kidding. person. Hmm. A ranunculus wouldn't be bad either. Seats, and then take care of cleanup afterwards. This time, I want to try hot pot. I can probably handle that, right? Hey, don't worry. We've got chicken, onions, carrots, mushrooms, tofu. Hmm, nothing strange here. Just regular ingredients. All right. Why don't you go get a plate and sit tight? I've been so busy lately. I've had to leave most of the boxing team activities to the junior members, but they actually won a team event at a rookie tournament. So, I thought I'd put together this little celebration for them. Actually, I've been so occupied with my own problems that I haven't been able to coach them much. Still, they appreciate the work I do for them, so I'm proud of them. I gotta say, though, Hot Pot is an interesting concept. 
Every ingredient adds its own flavor. And the end result is so great. It'd be nice if C's could mesh just as well. With a ragtag group of members. <laughs> I know everyone's wildly different from each other. But if there's anyone who can make it work, it's you. Anyway, when I'm out there on the front lines, I'll make sure I'm in a position to showcase my strengths. Boxing's taught me that once I get into the rhythm of battle, nothing can stop me. That's my fighting style. Don't forget it. It's nice to be able to share a hot pot with someone else like this. Maybe I'll do this with the boxing team too, if I ever get a chance. All right, now how do we finish the broth? Maybe udon or rice porridge? Or how about some protein dumplings? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. announcement regarding the recent Bay Area Art Contest. Hiraga-kun's painting was selected for consideration in the final round. 
Your piece was really good. You might even win. Please, it's all thanks to my paintbrush. I was lucky to use my dad's quality raccoon hair one. It really helped apply the paint to the canvas. So I'm sure that's the only reason the judges even noticed. Thank you. But I've only been painting for about two years now. So I never imagined my piece would go so far. You should have more confidence in yourself. You've been practicing so hard. He's right. Everyone knows how late you stay. Thanks, guys. But I should be supporting all of you, not the other way around. I'm sorry. I should be setting a better example for new members like you. I may not be much of an artist or a leader, but I hope we can keep working to improve our skills together. I've come this far. I might as well continue this for as long as I can. Oh, look at the time. Time to head home, everyone. How do I convince him? Why am I... I, I feel kind of weak. Your breathing is impaired, and your lips are pale. Did you get enough sleep last night? And what do you usually have for lunch? Uh, now that I think about it, I, I didn't eat breakfast today. Mm-hmm. I see. Just as I thought. Looks like anemia. Probably from an unbalanced diet. It must be all the fast food. I recommend adding more shellfish to your diet like oyster and abalone. They're packed with iron and easy to cook. Don't call me that. This is just common sense. Being the son of a doctor doesn't have anything to do with it. I'll take him to the nurse's office. You guys should head on home. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I'm looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? Let's hear the results. Is that so? Please paint my powerful persona a pretty purple. Please paint my powerful pe Hmm. This is harder than I thought. Otagiri. Is he absent today? Um, no. I'm pretty sure he came to school today. Then where is he? Probably busy playing detective asshole. Ah, so this is what Fushimi was telling me about. I see. Well, his intentions are good, so you can't really blame him. But I understand how you feel. Oh, uh, you're all free to leave now. Good work today. You hear me? I want to see evidence, smart guy. I don't need evidence. I already know everything about you. Like how you were arrested for beating up that guy in the park who snitched on you, right? Well, he's still at it. This is the third time today. My boyfriend was so pissed after he was accused. This guy's really asking for it. Keeping quiet will only make things worse for you. If it's really not you, then give me some names. And don't worry, I won't tell anyone. You have my word as a member of the disciplinary committee. Better fuck off, asshole. Don't 
think I'll just let you get away with that. Oh, hey, what is it? Did you need something from me? <laughs> you bet I am. If we turn a blind eye here, there's no stopping this from happening again. And once it spirals out of control, there will be nothing we can do. We should nip this problem in the bud while we still can. I know what people think of me. Then again, those who fight for justice have always butted heads with others. History speaks for itself. So let my actions serve as a warning to other offenders. A sensible person like you should understand, right? to keep at it for now. You should head home before it gets dark. control until the very end that last line he exchanged with the casino's boss gave me goosebumps and how about that part when he was all count to five <laughs> i hope i can be like him when i'm an adult what do you think it takes for a guy to be hard boiled that's true the detective did always make the right call no matter what situation he was in he was compassionate, but level-headed, and he never fell for the enemy's tricks. Come to think of it, that might be just what I need right now. I tend to get worked up about what's right in front of me, don't I? That's exactly the kind of thing a kid would do. I need to fix that. Well, now's as good a time as any to start. I'll give it my best shot. If I do that, do you think I could become like him? A cool, hard-boiled guy. Just like the detective in the movie. <laughs> When I hear you say it, I really feel like it's possible. Oh boy, look at the time. But I still want to talk about the movie. Wait, I'm not sleepy yet, okay? One, two, 
So she kill. Prepare to be. Excuse me. Yes. Pay close attention, all right? I wanted to improve my cooking? Well, I've been trying a lot since then, but I can never seem to get the taste right. I still don't have a feel for how much salt to add. How do you do it? A dash? Oh, so speed is important? Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually. I've just been pouring it in slowly. I'll try and remember that. To tell you the truth, I was actually hoping I could make something you'd really like. But I don't think I'll be able to do that for a while. <laughs> Maybe cooking just isn't for me. <sighs> oh, sorry. I know you're just trying to help me, and all I'm doing is being negative. I've only just started. I can't let this keep me down. Maybe I should try taking notes. That might help me figure out what I'm doing wrong. I actually have quite a lot of trouble staying optimistic about things. In my head, I always imagine something going horribly wrong. That's why sometimes I feel like giving up when I'm cooking. But you know, when I'm around you or the rest of the team, I never think like that. You've all given me so much confidence in myself. So, I'm really thankful to be a member of Seas. That's why I want to show you all my gratitude. watch one of those cooking shows on TV. Actually, it might be a little too advanced for me. The library might have some books for beginners, though. Mm, but in that case, I can't really read while cooking. I wouldn't want to get the pages dirty. Oh, you don't mind? But... Mm, I don't know. If we're looking for books, that means we'd need to go to the bookstore. It's not a big deal or anything, but 
I don't really like going to bookstores. Oh my gosh, when did it get so late? I have to go. Um, the hair dryer burned out, so I was planning on fixing it. But I was hoping to get it done before Yukari-chan and the others got back. Sorry, do you mind if we up the pace on the way back? Hmm. You two can follow along on page 39 of this month's issue. Today we're making spicy pepper pasta. It's a great dish to keep your energy up in the summer heat. The key ingredient is the manganji pepper. Remember to remove the seeds first. After that, we'll prepare some kombu soup stock. You'll need a pasta cooker about this size and... A pasta cooker. Do we even have one of those here? It's still pretty hot. It requires excess energy to maintain an appropriate external temperature. <laughs> Shit! We have returned. Chan? Oh, shh. We should be quiet. It looks like Aragaki Senpai's asleep. He says Aragaki san is not asleep. Huh? Ah, huh. Senpai's magazine. It's the monthly guide to the family cooking show. Does Aragaki Senpai enjoy cooking shows? I didn't even know this month's issue was out. Aragaki-san frequently watches programs like... Uh, it's okay, I guess. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Damn. Forgot you can understand dogs. Aww. Don't sweat it. It ain't your fault. Don't worry, Koro-chan. Next time, I'll make you something, too.
door unlocked in 92 seconds. My time has improved. Surface body temperature reads 36.2 degrees Celsius. No fever. At this rate, he should make a full recovery by morning. The pillow I prepared in the freezer will not be necessary. I cannot stay too long, or Yukari-san will reprimand me again. There are still four hours and twelve minutes until sunrise. I should be safe as long as I sneak out before morning. I will keep watch over him for a little longer. I've gotten used to walking around without my bathrobe lately. Not a very good habit to fall into. Well, I'm away from home, so it's no big deal, I suppose. This fashion magazine. I thought I'd take a look after I saw Takeba purchasing one. 256 snazzy looks to knock the socks off of your BFFs. Get her look. Sweet but glam do's and don'ts. What is this even saying? I don't follow fashion myself. I usually wear whatever the family stylist selects for me. The cutest essentials. Well, I would be open to trying this pink one. <laughs> Not that it would suit me anyway. I'm no Takeba. I should remember there's a difference between what appeals to me and what I can actually pull off. <laughs> Not good. I'm going to catch a cold. I should turn in. I have to be up early again tomorrow. Now, which pajamas shall I wear tonight? Selling bulk? Sure, it's a deal. All done here? Be seeing ya.
target. It's in the Iwatodai Station Plaza. This will be the tenth shadow. Only a few left. Let's just worry about them one at a time. If they actually appear one at a time, we don't need two at once again. Yukari-chan! How did you know? I sense two of them. What? Seriously? Me and my big mouth. Where's Shinji? He notified me that he'll be joining us later. He didn't say why, though. Figures. He's always played by his own rules. Well, I'm sure it's fine. He said he's coming later, right? Yeah, that's already better than a certain someone who didn't show last time. Hey, come on, that wasn't my fault. Don't worry, I'm totally ready to go this time. See? Wait. Amada kun isn't here either. Hey, Junpei, go get him. That'll be your punishment for last time. Punishment? What is this, kindergarten? Oh, I guess it is a kid's bedtime. All right, we've got two targets this time. Let's get moving. We'll decide on our team formation once we get there. Let's go. Look, there they are. This is the route we always take to school. We've got to protect it. It's almost like they're waiting for us. By the way, where's Amada? Uh, he wasn't in his room, so who knows? Shinji's late, too. Um, we should probably hurry. I think they're about to make their move. Then we have no choice. Let's organize a team from the members we have here. Once we're set, we'll move in.
you want that. Did I scan on this enemy? Okay, here's what I found. I'll go with... Stop! Pull the trigger.
work. How we do this? I'll hit them where it hurts. Send us away!
misfire, huh? I've had enough of gambling with fate. Let's take it down! Skill. Gonna have to try it out. Good. This will make me more effective in battle. Exhausting dealing with two of them at once. The two claiming to be Strega did not interfere this time. It's probably because we have their navigator. They can't outmaneuver us now. Anyway, I'm glad everything went well. Still, Aragaki Senpai never showed, huh? Amatakun, too. <sighs> the chairman doesn't seem to be too concerned. He's already headed home. Yamagishi, do you know where they are? Sorry, I haven't been able to locate them yet. Let's return to the dorm for the time being. Akihiko, are you listening? Today is... October 4th, right? Yeah, that's right. Go on back without me. I'm gonna go look for them. Wait, Senpai! I wonder what's up. Akihiko. You came. Just like we agreed. <clears throat> Do you know why I called you here? You probably have an idea, since you skipped the operation for it. Two years ago today, on October 4th, that was the day my mom died here. They called it a car accident, but it wasn't. I saw the whole thing. I saw my mom get killed. You murdered her! Uh. Since then, not one good thing has happened. Just being alive is torture, and all I get from people is sympathy, no matter where I go. What's the point of living like this? I've even thought about killing myself. But I wouldn't be able to face mom like that. That's why I vowed to live until I found her killer. You! I once heard you say you wanted to forget what you did on that day. So, when I realized it was a full moon today, I knew I had to confront you. Today, mom is with me. I'll make you remember what you did to her. I'm gonna kill you! <sighs> Do it. Oh, no one else is back yet? Man, I wonder why Sonata-san was acting so weird. Something about the date. What's so special about October 4th? October 4th? That's right. I was so focused on the operation that I didn't realize it. Today is the anniversary of the day Amada's mother was killed. She was killed? Yamagishi, I need you to locate Aragaki and Amada immediately. 
There's a good chance they'll be together. Akihiko must have already realized it. I... Uh, I'm on it. Uh, what's going on? Public records say that Amada's mother was killed in an accident. But in truth, we were the ones responsible for her death. What? It happened two years ago, when we were hunting down a shadow that appeared in the city. Aragaki had only just awakened his persona, and he lost control of it for a moment. We'd been so focused on the shadow, we hadn't accounted for any civilians in the area. Unfortunately, there was one casualty. It was Amada's mother. No way! Are you kidding me? Wait, so to Amada-kun, Aragaki-senpai is... I should have considered this when Amada volunteered to join us. It's possible that he... I found them! They're at Tatsumi Port Island! They're together. And I'm picking up someone else, too. Is it Akihiko? Wait... This is... No! It's Striga! Hey, isn't that a problem? This couldn't be worse! Senpai! Come on! We gotta follow her! Alright! Do it. I won't stop you. You're right. I just wanted to forget. That's why I left everyone behind. And tried to use the drugs to suppress my power. But... Nothing I did could erase the memory. No matter what I do, I always end up back here. <sighs> it's my fault. This is what I deserve. But I gotta give you a warning. A warning? You take my life, and you're going to end up just like me. You better be prepared for that. What? Are you begging for your life? Even if all you have now is hatred, one day you'll regret it. Shut up! That's bullshit! I must say, I agree. <sighs> These are not his sins to bear. That is the nature of revenge. Is it not permissible to kill those who are themselves killers? That's right. What do you want? Losing one of our own has posed a slight challenge for us, but we cannot simply turn a blind eye to all the trouble you've caused. You bastard. Fear not. This life is but a stepping stone. I shall deliver unto you both salvation. What'd you say? My? Protecting your would-be murderer? Oh, but that's right. Whether or not to this boy's revenge, you are fated to die regardless. What does he mean? You've been taking those suppressants for some time now. You don't have much longer. That's bullshit! Listen to your body. The signs have already begun. What are you talking about? You're just going to die? No matter what? Even if I don't do anything? That's not fair! This is all I've been living for! What was even the point then? The cause of death is hardly of importance. Besides, the breath of life is faint in you as well, child. You were planning to join him once the deed was done, were you not? <sighs> Mara, what? This may be a bit ill-timed, but no matter. It matters not whose life I take first, 
You're both destined to perish anyway. Shut the fuck up! No! Now then, with what life you have left, answer me this. There is a navigator in your ranks similar to Chidori, is there not? You've been killing the shadows we wish to protect with startling efficiency before we can even arrive. Tell me, which one of you is it? If you don't expedite your answer, then this will hurt you more than it hurts me. <laughs> What's wrong? Cat got your tongue. Or are you ready to talk? <laughs> There's... no one. Hmm. Wait! It's me. Really now? It's the truth. That's the only reason they let me join, even though I'm a kid. <laughs> Who are you? Ugh. Quiet. I wasn't talking to you. It doesn't matter now. I'll never have my revenge. I don't have any reason to live. What's the point in fighting anymore? I see. So, you accept salvation. What a beautiful end to your life. Very well. You shall go first. Rest peacefully. Mom. Just what was that for? What reason could you possibly have to risk your life for this child? <gasps> Shinji! <laughs> your companions? How very unfortunate. The fun had just begun. <laughs> Shinji! <laughs> Hang in there! Aragaki! Senpai! Aragaki-san! <laughs> That's with the long face. Isn't this exactly what you wanted? It's alright. Hold on to that anger. Be your strength. You still got your whole life ahead of you, don't you, kid? From now on, you're gonna have to live for yourself. But I, but I can't. I will. This is how it should be.
No words can express the sense of loss we feel as a result of this terrible tragedy. He had a lifetime of opportunity ahead of him. As educators, we are to blame for ignoring his silent calls for help. We tragically lost him to senseless violence before we had a chance to help him realize his true potential. Forgive us. Forgive us for our negligence. <laughs> uh, he just never stops talking. I'd never even heard of any Aragaki. Had you? I heard he never came to school. Probably just some punk. Oh, I just want to get home. I gotta study for my mock exam. Hey, you guys know who this Aragaki is? Wait, you're not even in the same year. No way you'd know him then. Anyways, it's crazy that stuff like this really happens, huh? Huh? Well, whatever. I, I was just asking. Shut up. <sighs> huh? What are you getting up for? I said shut the hell up! Oh, Iori, sit down. Damn it! Just ignore them, Junpei. Hey, have you seen Sonata-senpai today? He was absent this morning. I wonder if he'll show up at all. I hope he's okay. Do you have a moment? Oh, sure. When you get back today, let's meet in the lounge. I think you all know the reason. Right. I don't expect you to have your thoughts in order. I'm not even sure what to do myself. All right. I'll see you then. So it's about Amada, huh? Well, this will be a fun meeting. Yeah. Hey. Not the usual for lunch. I was wondering what ramen tastes like when you skip class. It's surprisingly good. You could have invited me at least once, you know. Come on, say something. Why do you have to be like that? Always going off without saying a word. Put yourself in my shoes for a change. You think it's the other way around? Yeah. You're right. I was always the one running off on my own. I was too obsessed with getting stronger ever since I lost Miki. That's all I've cared about. I thought if I was strong enough, I could protect anyone. But I was wrong. And now you're gone too. God, it's like the world is laughing at me. I knew what we were getting into. I knew we were putting our lives on the line, but I was so focused on fighting that I didn't see anything else. It doesn't matter how strong I was. Look what happened! <laughs> I know, Shinji. Crying won't change anything, right? I don't need you to tell me that. In the end, I can't run away from who I am. I've had enough of this.
Rest easy, Shinji. You just watch from there with Miki. I've still got a job to do. Isn't that right? You all know the reason we're gathered here. We need to discuss how to deal with Amada. I've already consulted the chairman. I guess, bring him here. Understood. It's my fault. I knew it was strange when Aragaki-senpai told me he'd be late, but I didn't say anything. If I'd only listened to my intuition, this wouldn't have happened. That's right. It's not your fault. If there's anyone who should have realized, it's me. I should have been taking things more seriously, too. I knew this wasn't a game. But I never thought it'd end up like this. There's no point dwelling on the past. Shinji's last words were, this is how it should be. He was a hell of a guy. <laughs> he even faced death with a smile. So... From this day forward, I'll face things head on, too. This is how it should be. Huh. Senpai. <sighs> Reporting in. Amada-san is not in his room. He's not? Evidence indicates that his window has been pried open. Amada-kun! Where are you going? Do you even know where to look? Well, no, but we can't just let him go off on his own, right? You're just gonna run around without a clue? You'll never find him like that. Maybe not, but we have to try! Amada-kun has nowhere else to go. I know exactly how that feels. He's right, Fuka. But... You of all people should understand, Yukari-chan! Fuka... I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Give him some time. Dragging him back won't change how he feels. And we can't protect him forever. Akihiko! It's his choice. He's the only one who can decide how to live his life. We all choose our own paths. observe no abnormalities in Koromaru-san's physical or mental status today. May I have a moment of your time? There is something I wish to speak with you about. I was performing research today, 
and came across a puzzling piece of information. It stated that there is a specific time of year in which one can reunite with the dead. It appears as though spirits return to the living realm during this time. What exactly does this mean? Once an organism comes to the end of its lifespan, its physical body will deteriorate. But does this mean that there is a spirit that exists independent of one's physical form? And in that case, would that mean that Aragaki-san is... <laughs> Welcome back, Koromaru-san. Hmm? What are you holding? It appears as though he wishes us to have it. Why don't we gratefully accept? Now, let's return to the dorm, shall we? Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Here are my requests. 
Marvelous. By all means. If I may say so. I will await a report of success, if I may say so. I will await a report of success. I will await a report of success. Very well, then. Which one? You've come at a good time. There are some new items you can create. What would you like? Everything good? Hope to see you soon. Hmm. 
Same school, right? One look at your uniform's all I need to know. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed to ask you this right off the bat, but... Would you mind not standing so close to me? You're too thin and too cool! If people start thinking we're best friends or something, I'm gonna end up as the uncool one! There you are. I thought your voice sounded familiar. You know what I'm here for. Now hand it over. Whoa! Not you! Help! Emergency! Hey! You! Call the fire truck! I mean the, uh... uh... Yes! Right! Good thinking! Quit making a scene, all right? People are looking at me funny. I've got some business to take care of now, but you... You're no Zomi Suemitsu-kun, aren't you? I did my homework, see? You know I'm not letting you off that easy, right? I suggest you reconsider things. It was horrifying! My poor heart! I think it dropped into my coin purse for a minute there. My name is Nozomi Suimitsu. By the way, may I just say that you have a wonderfully big heart for someone so slim? Drama made me hungry. My stomach is definitely not amused. You want to tag along, friend? Shall I treat you to the finest dining? If so, you've come to the right place. For I am the king, the Gourmet King. That's right, Gourmet King 2009. Or was it 2010? Eh, whatever. And as the king, I know all the kingliest places for... Uh, 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 my... my tummy! It's in horrible pain! I think it's an emergency! Sorry, but I'll treat you uh, another time. Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. You look half dead. What are you doing out here? When Mom died protecting me, no one believed the truth. To this day, they say she died in an accident that didn't even happen. That's why I wanted to clear the record. I thought that's what she would have wanted. Maybe then she'd finally be at peace. 
They said he died in some violent crime, right? No one knows the truth. Just like with Mom. And now, I'm going to be left behind. Just like always. The dead are never coming back. You have to accept that. But you still have your life. <sighs> I'm not here to bring you back. You can waste away here if that's what you want. But, if you still have the will to fight, and come back and stand on your own two feet. I know that. I've known it all along. I've just been lying to myself. I needed something to hate. To keep myself going. I couldn't face the thought of being alone. But that's exactly what happened. All this time. Just been running away. <laughs> All right. I'm not running away. I'm not running away anymore. I swear it. Aragaki san, I'll see this through to the end. been a day yes it has so where's Sonata-san he said to leave Amada-kun alone but maybe we should look for him what do you think so you agree with Akihiko then I can't just sit here I'm going right now to Oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. You were? Amado, will you continue to fight? Yes. I'm done running away. That okay with you? Positive. It's all right. We can trust him. Please, don't scare us like that, okay? All right. I'll go and talk to the chairman. You should get some rest. Okay. Sorry. 